Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome all of our new subscribers. Been uh, rolling in pretty good. Super nice to have you. Uh, please, uh, when you get a chance in the comments, say hello below and say what kind of things you're, uh, you're up to and, and then I'm going to explain this snow. And why I have big tracks going through my snow. <laughs> so, uh, as I told you, a house is going to get new siding, right? Well, they have begun the process. So, uh, they brought a big old truck in super early. Look at gal, my jammies. <laughs> anyway, they came in. And they're starting to uh, bring in materials. So, uh, they want the materials as close to the house as possible. So, uh, <laughs> somebody likes the snow. What you doing? So, uh, once again, our dogs haven't been in snow a lot. So, uh, it's all fascinating to them. So, anyway, I uh, thought I'd just uh, show you the latest excitement. Along with us trying to figure out how to run our new pellet stove. Uh, <coughs> anyway, we got to do our chicken run today and uh, trying to kind of coordinate how to use the pellet stove and get it set right. <laughs> I know it sounds like, oh, just turn it on. But no, nah, it's a little more to it. So anyway, beautiful snowy morning. Didn't expect snow. And uh, let's get our chores done. It's a little bit later in the day. Not much. And uh, still got a little snow on the ground, but it's all slushy and kind of icky. So what I got here is uh, our scraps from the, uh, go this way, from the kitchen, from uh, cooking and all that stuff. And of course, this stuff is for our uh, compost pile. So it's still kind of pretty, but very wet snow. These guys are just dorks. <laughs> so uh, anyway let's uh let's get this added to the compost pile. Um, well it's not the funnest job in the world but very necessary. <laughs> so we have all lots of lots of goodies for our garden in the spring so uh <coughs> mind you guys um <laughs> i'll probably have to do some watering for the chickens today let's see how we're doing it oh hi girls hi girls well, that's unusual i got a broken egg that sucks hi girls what are we all doing back here? It's a party. How come you guys broke one of your eggs? Alright, let's get that cleaned up. Well, it seems like it's a little bit early to uh, pull their eggs. Uh, looks like they're kind of in the middle of their process. So I'll leave them alone for a couple hours and then we'll come back and check for eggs. Uh, it's very pretty outside. So, uh... I got an observation I just got to bring out. Once again, when my wife gets up in the morning, she turns on like the Today Show or something like that. And oh my God, I cannot believe. I don't know how to describe this. They are trying so hard to take everybody that's associated with um, the Republicans or anything that has to do with the uh, the problem they had at the White House and literally uh, trying to make all of us like uh, the Jews were in, in, in the Nazi days. <laughs> um, it's like they want to ban anybody who has any association with being a, a Republican or supporting Trump. Uh, 
and and then they've justified themselves so much that uh it sounds like fascism <laughs> it's like i don't think they can even hear themselves talk it's like <clears throat> And then everything that took place back then is no different than what took off place in the cities, which was part of the other thing. Um, I think everybody needs to start chilling out. Uh, it's a dangerous path that uh, everybody's going here. Um, all I know is if you take away freedom of speech, you take away freedoms, you take away a, a place for people to express themselves, you're gonna have trouble. And uh, uh, I don't know what kind of future that's gonna bring, but I don't think it's good. <laughs> um, I think a lot of us older folks probably understand it more than the younger, that uh, when you start taking a whole group of people and branding them and labeling them and then taking away their abilities and not giving them a place to you know every healthy society has pros and cons and debates and uh if you don't allow that um then things could escalate and uh not that i'm an advocate for that but like a video I did a couple of days ago, it's uh, <clears throat> better to work, you know, that's only 10% of our lives putting up with this bullshit. Sorry. And the other 90% is things we control. But we can't uh, let this continue. Um, no matter what goes on, what happened uh, at the Capitol is no different than what go, went on in the cities. That doesn't mean that we brand everybody that was involved in the cities as bad people. We got to watch what we're doing here and it's very concerning. Um, so uh, we'll sit back and wait. But I, I think uh, uh, splitting us even more and depriving folks of, of their abilities because the other group doesn't uh, is wants to label them. I think that's really bad trouble in the future. So I uh, I don't know what you guys think. I'd love to hear in your comments. But uh, anyway, um, I don't know, in the comments below, what's your thoughts about what's going on in the media? I just every morning you know, I get up and sherry has got the today show on i have to turn it off because it's like oh my gosh <laughs> so anyway guys uh we'll, we'll follow up here in the egg stuff in a couple more hours so as you can see we uh got our pellet stove installed started running it it's kind of funny when you first uh turn on a pellet stove your house kind of fills up with a little bit of a uh, a burnt oil s uh, smell because these uh, pellet stoves are kind of coated with an oil and stuff like that for uh, preserving so when they get all heated up uh, that kind of burns off so your house has <laughs> got a funny smell to it for a while and it, they say it's really bad the first time and tapers off as it goes but it's uh, kind of a cool cool thing it still feels like you have a little fire in a house uh, this thing definitely pumps out the heat hard to figure out how to balance um, the heat from this to the heat of the house and uh, so I got a feeling it's gonna take quite a few days to kind of figure out uh, what setting we need for this and uh, what setting we have for the regular house and uh, the other thing is it will get really warm in this corner of the house, so uh, we need to figure out how you know turn on the fan system in the house, not the heat and stuff, to circulate our air. So uh, uh, some of this heat over here will uh, heat up the entire house. So we're very excited to have this. As in a prepper's point of view, 
Um, a lot of people go with a wood burning stove, but tell you the truth, at my age and stuff, I really don't want to deal with chopping wood all the time. And uh, let me see if that helps with the lighting a little bit. So uh, uh, I have a generator, and so if we were to lose our power and stuff, one of my biggest concern was not having heat. Well, now with the generator, we can easily turn on the pellet stove and let it run for a few hours to keep the house heated. Um, and uh, there's other ways that we could power this up. I'm actually thinking about just getting a simple little, oh, maybe 1,000 watt, 2,000 watt generator, a real small one, and uh, uh, have it devoted to this side of the house if the power was to go off. Um, that way I could uh, keep this, the stove um, running and maybe maybe the refrigerator behind me and use the bigger generator for all the other systems. So we'll see. Got to figure it all out. But we're getting so much closer to being so self-sufficient in case we did lose our power. Somebody, um, I think my installer, told me that there's chances where they may shut off our power here to conserve or something. And it's like, what? <laughs> Um, like they do in California and that sounds a little insane. This whole world's insane. I'm, I'm tired of doing videos of telling you how insane everything is, but it's insane. <laughs> so anyway guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comments below. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Once again, I want to welcome all the new subscribers we've been getting. I uh, love having you. Love to have you uh, down in the comments say hello and uh, tell us what kind of things you want us to talk about in the homestead uh, in about a week or so is when they start doing our sighting hopefully if we get some uh, today's probably not the day I was going to do some work on the greenhouse but um, I'm going to wait till it gets a little better weather so uh, anyway meanwhile I'm going to enjoy our new pellet stove figure out how to run it figure out how to balance out the heat in the house and uh so forth so anyway thanks again for watching be safe and have a great day everyone bye thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks